happiness through curiosity on TRS Clips. Let's do an exercise where I give you a timeline of 10 years from now. What will be the technological revolution that really takes over? For example, in 2010, it was smartphones. That was the kind of culturally important uh, technological revolution that took over. In the 20s, it's AI, clearly. I can't see anything else. What do you think will be in the 30s? Mind computer in interfaces. Mind AI interfaces. Which is when you will have implants in the eye, in, in the mind, in the brain, or maybe some other means for these computer systems to directly interface with your mind. And then you're going to see the real transformation of AI when they can start accessing the data in people's brains in real time. As an engineer, can you actually? You can access the data. We in already have, brain. Uh, yeah, we already have systems like Neuralink, which are rather crude. It's these electrodes and these things that are implanted straight into the brain matter. And they seem to work with pigs. And I think it's, we are on the, on the verge of having human trials very soon. Maybe Elon Musk is, may already be equipped with that. He, must have, he may have possibly done it on himself already. That's what they are saying. So, so that's what some people are speculating. So we are in the very initial phases of that technology. But eventually you're going to have this thing happening. Maybe you're going to have to just wear, uh, let's say, uh, a, a, a super contact lens or something, which will en enable a computer system to inter interface with the brain through the eyes. Because the eyes are actually an extension of the brain. Mm. You know, the, yeah. the, the retina is an extension of the brain. So you're going to have creative ways of doing this soon. Maybe you will require some kind of surgical implant or something. But soon you're going to have brain-computer inter interfaces. And then you will no, no longer need keyboards. You'll just have to think computer commands and you'll be able to interact through computers with computers through thoughts only. That's going to be the next revolution. That's coming. It's not far. Okay. 40s? 30s. What about the 40s? 40s. <laughs> 40s will be the cy maybe the cyborg era. If you have brain computer interfaces, some people who are the maybe who have the access to all this will be able to uh, become superhumans in some way. You know, if you have a, 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 an interface with a supercomputer and an AI system, then you can essentially become a demigod or, or a god. So you're going to have enhanced human beings. They will be enhanced through genetics, through CRISPR. They're going to have mechanical enhancements also, which may give them an exoskeleton, maybe superpowers. Maybe maybe they, you can replace the bones with more durable, more harder materials. Maybe you can stay alive for 200 years. Maybe you can stop Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and all those things. Maybe you can offload, download memories so that you don't lose the old memories when the new ones, are, new ones override them. You're going to have, if, if, if things continue that way, maybe in the 40s you may have such systems, you know, enhanced super superhumans. That could be the future, in the 40s perhaps. <laughs> you know what I'm going to ask you next? All right. The 50s? 50s. 50s, uh, we will, <laughs> we could reach, uh, uh, maybe, maybe we'll be able to travel to other stars. Maybe we'll definitely uh, colonize the this, uh, this solar system. Mars for sure by that time. And yeah, so some humans will be incredibly enhanced because of all these things and the others will be left behind. Which is why I said that the two or three nations that will lead the world in space exploration in this century will control the entire world. So by that time, the two or three elite nations will be on Mars, definitely on the moon. They'll be establishing colonies, maybe fighting wars there for territory. And I think even by that time, the 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 breakthrough star shot will have actually taken off and we will be on our, our probes will be on the way to the next star system so i think by 2050 we will be in a whole different world uh we'll be on the way to colonizing the solar system we'll be able to discover if there is life out there or not if life does exist by that time we'll definitely have found evidence of that because our instrumentations and all our instruments and all that will become way more way better than what they are today so we will know by that time by most likely by 2050 where alien life resides, if it does reside, at least the, the closer ones, you know. Oh my God, so aliens. Anyway, uh, <laughs> my question is, you know, Jijit, so on the show, an ISRO scientist said that even if a civilization is 500 years older than ours, which is not too long when you look at the timeline of the universe, 500 years older than ours, they would have gone through this AI phase. Yes. And if they've gone through it, then they've survived. My question is that what do you think it took for them to survive? Ethics. Let's go into the aliens' minds. If, if this whole thing about... So he was convinced 
that mathematically speaking aliens exist in the universe yes yes but he also constantly mentioned that he believes that aliens are a part of human society as well why so i don't remember his exact reasoning did he give an exact reason i don't i don't remember so honestly. he believes that aliens are a part of human society they have integrated into human society somehow something like that okay that he's all, like and it was an i asked him in a very joking way hmm. i thought oh well, let me ask an isro scientist about aliens and then he took it on a tangent he said that he's convinced maybe there is some angle of him being a uh, so he also studies hinduism a lot and this whole vimanas and you know the advanced weaponry and all these stories you hear from mesopotamia of gilgamesh and all these alien beings being a part of our ancient culture ancient aliens theories okay mm-hmm. uh, if they are true uh so say for, say for a second even you believe so that they are a part of the human race that means they're older than us what has helped them survive through the dystopia that we will definitely encounter along the current path that the human race is on we're going towards apocalypse dystopia what will bring us out of it okay that's a good that's an interesting question so let's say you have a hypothetical civilization just like us but they are going through the ai phase and they survive it and they are 500 years in the future what could happen so one thing that could happen is that they will merge with the ai mm. they will merge with ai which means that the brain human brain and the ai system are the one and the same they are connected and the human body and all the, all that is also enhanced and the the elites of the society who are able to do this are eventually going to outgrow everybody else which means only some people will corner garner corner whatever the resources of the, of the entire world and everybody else will become a different species a uh, secondary species an inferior species mm. so you're going to have the bifurcation of the race into a superior species and an inferior species and the superior species will en- will keep on enjoying whatever advances ai gives them which means they can improve their genetics and become better and better versions of themselves which means that by the time 500 years are gone the species will have evolved very differently so you will have it's like it's like that mo- that uh, science fiction movie or 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 book the time machine mm. in which uh, in the in the far future of the human species there are two races or two species of human beings the eloi and the morlocks the morlocks are the more advanced and more powerful ones and the eloi are, are like totally different so that is something that could happen you know so yeah so in that case if an alien civilization is able to survive 500, 500 years after the inflection point of ai it means that the ones who survive are the ones who are superior who have who have incorporated ai into themselves and maybe the other species could not survive long enough which means that they will be super super human or whatever survival of the fittest survival of the fittest and they will ensure that they, st- they stay the fittest which unfortunately is survival of the most powerful yes. which unfortunately in today's day and age is survival of the richest yes so the future of the human race is going to be the millionaires and billionaires of today could be could be that it looks like it could be that way so what other nations apart from the us should do is they should also try and invest in their own ai systems okay it's important new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe